In this video, we will set up our solution that will be used throughout the series. Note that all of the source code will be available via GitHub branches related to each tutorial in the video description. First, we are going to create a solution with three projects. A project for the shared networking library, a project for the server code, and a project for the client code. Let's go ahead and make a new solution. We're going to make an empty C++ project, and I'm going to name this PNET, because that's what I'm going to call the shared networking library. Press OK. I want PNET to be a library, so I'm going to go ahead and right click on that project and go to Properties. And instead of an EXE, we're going to change this to a static library and press OK. And make sure you have all configurations and all platforms selected at the top. Now let's create our server and client projects. So we're going to right click on our solution, go to add, choose a new project. I will call this one server. Now let's go to add another new project. We'll call this client. Let's go ahead and add a source file for our server and our client. Just call this source. And let's do the same thing for the client. Next, we are going to add a header and source file inside of our shared library and create a test function to make sure that we are linking this all up properly. So let's add a header file to our shared library. We're going to call this include me. And when you use this library, you will be expected to include this Inside of the pnet namespace, we're just going to put a declaration for a test function that will return an integer. It will be called return5, and this will just return the value 5. Let's create the source file with the definition for this. I'm going to include the header. Alright, so now we have our library set up. Let's go to the server cpp. Now we want to include the include me file in our server project. However, we first have to include the directory to the source files. I've pulled up the solution directory here, and you can see that we have our server, our pnet, and our client projects here. So this directory that I'm currently in is the solutions directory. So if I include the solutions directory, then I should be able to access the pnet source files. So we're going to right click the server, go to properties, go to VC++ directory. So make sure you have all configurations and all platforms selected at the top. Under include directories, we're going to use a macro for the solution directory. And you see the evaluated value right here is our solution directory. So we'll press OK. Press OK again. Now we can include pnet in the include me header. We are now able to call the return5 function. However, there's still another problem here. You'll see that when we go to build our library, it builds successfully. However, when we build our server, we will get a linker error. We still need to link to our library. So there are two steps to doing this. First, let's go to our properties, and we need to link to the library directory. Back inside of our solution directory, we can see our output directory, which is currently debug, uh, since we're using x86 and we have debug selected, and we see our pnet library file here. So we know that the file will be in our output directory. When we go to add a library directory, we can use a macro outdir and as you can see, this will be whatever the output directory is, depending on how we're building this project. So we'll press OK. And then we also need to link to this library. So we'll go to the linker. We will select input. And then under additional dependencies, we will add in pnet.lib. Let's press OK and press OK. Now let's try to build this again. All right, now it is successful. Let's do the same thing for the client. So let's copy this code, go to the source, 
paste it, go to the client's properties. For VC++ directories, we're going to set up the include directory to be solutioner. We're going to set up the library directories to have outer. And we are going to go to the input and make sure we include pnet.lib for the libraries. Press OK. So if we go to build, you'll see everything builds fine. However, there is still one more thing that we need to do. To demonstrate what we need to do, I'm first going to make a change that will require our shared library to be recompiled. So I'm going to change the definition to return 7 instead of 5. Now, if we hit rebuild solution, it will try to rebuild everything. You will see we get an error that we cannot open pnet.lib in the server. The problem is client and server are both dependent on pnet. We need to make sure that pnet compiles first. So what we can do is we right click on our solution. We can go to project build order, click on that click on dependencies, and we can select the client, say that it depends on pnet. We can select the server and say it also depends on pnet and press OK. Now let's change this again just so it recompiles again and hit rebuild solution. And you see everything compiled in the proper order. It compiled pnet first, and then it went and compiled the server and client. Now there's just one more thing that I'm going to do before we end this video. We're going to go into the properties for all of the projects, and under the C++ tab, we're going to enable multiprocessor compilation, just so that we can compile our projects faster. Now we have our project set up, and we are ready to get started. In the next video, we will set up a function to attempt to initialize the Winsock API in our shared library, and call it from both the server and the client projects.